Hi, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We had a gal come into the shop the other day, and she was from Arizona, and she asked me if I had ever heard of the Three Dudes Quilting in, uh, I think it's Mesa, Arizona, and they have a quilt shop there, and she said that they used my same pinwheel block, you know, the one where I stitch all around the outside, and they tricked it up, and she showed me what they did, and I couldn't believe it. So we called and talked to Ray, and they are just the greatest guys out there. So here's a shout-out to Ray at the Three Dudes Quilting and all the guys. We think it's awesome when guys quilt, but let me show you what they're doing. This is awesome. So we got these cute little roll-ups from Riley Blake, and it's called Alphabet Soup. And one is a boy way, and one is a girl way. And so I decided I was going to make a quilt the way they do it and see how it works. So basically what we're doing is we're taking um, the jelly roll strips and we're sewing them all together. And um, when Ray did it, his quilts were real, his blocks were really big, but I decided to go a little smaller. So I sewed four strips together. And, um, and then remember, we're going to measure this. So however tall it is, that's how wide you're going to cut your block because you want squares. We're making squares here. So you sew all your strips together, and then we cut them into blocks. So here I have a stack of blocks di from different strip sets. And watch this. This is just going to, this is another one of those things where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, so what they did was they took their strip set like this, and they laid the blocks, the strips, horizontally on the back, took the same strip set, but laid those blocks those strips vertically on the front. So then you sew all the way around and you cut it both directions just like we do the pinwheels, exactly like that. So I have a block here where I've sewed around. And wait till you see what shows up. All right, I got a little, oh, I'm going to need a little longer ruler. Here we go. And you'll notice I have, everybody keeps saying, why don't you use one of those spinning boards? Well, finally, we got some here at the shop, and they are amazing. I love them. Anyway, so here's what we do. We've sewn, see the stitch line? We've sewn all the way around the whole two blocks. And we're going to cut it this way. And then we're going to turn our little board a little bit, and we're going to cut it this way. And then when you open them up, Look at, the, look at the blocks you get. How cool is that? Here, let's press some of these open so you can get a look at them. See, the, the strips will run differently on each side. And I thought, boy, there just isn't going to be anything cuter than this to make a little baby quilt out of. I should really be setting these seams, but I get so excited to open them up. So look at that. Now, when you put these together... You know, you can do it again so the little squares match in the center. I mean, there's just loads of ways you can do this because it's, it's got, um, I mean, it, this, it's just got so much movement and so much fun to it. Just from putting your strips horizontally on the back and vertically on the front and doing the exact same thing that you do with the pinwheels. So I've got um, a finished quilt over here I'd like to show you. I used to finish the one for the boy one first. This is the girl line. So let me show you that. Look how cute this is. Isn't this not the cutest thing? And it's done the same easy pinwheel way, just sewing strips together. Instead of using solid fabric, it's just sewing strips together. So here we are. You know, here's the block right here. And we these strips going this way and this going this way. We put them together. I mean, it's just adorable. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and Three Dudes Quilting in Arizona. Thanks. See you later.